Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have decided to answer one of the questions that I get asked quite frequently and that question is what do all of these numbers and letters mean on the boxes, on the actual cards, and even on the bottom of the cars that we love and enjoy? So today I decided to answer that question for you guys and I'm going to break them down step by step. So if you guys don't know, these are the boxes that stores get from Mattel full of mainline Hot Wheels cars as we can see right here. So we can see that this contains 72 cars and depicting on these letters and numbers right here, we can tell if they're only for America, international, or short cards. So if you guys see this letter combination right here, C4982, that means that they are international long cards. And that means that they can be distributed anywhere around the world in this size card. Or you could see a number like this. This is an edited picture. I do not have another box. You could see L2593. That means they are distributed only to America in the long card like this as well. And the last thing that you guys could find is a number that starts with 5785 and that means that the cards will be shorter. So this is a normal sized card right here. So I will put a picture on the right of this. That is a short card. So C4982 international long cards, L2593 only American long cards, and 57 eight five are short cards this number over here tells you what case it is so hot wheels releases 15 new hot wheels cases each year and this is how it works it starts with the a case and that has 72 brand new cars for that case and then about a month or so later, we will get the B case, which also has 72 brand new cars. And this process repeats itself through H, we skip I, continue J through N, skip O, and then to finish it off, we get the P and Q case. Why they skip I and O, I am not quite too sure of, but if any of you guys know, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Now, just because this is the G case, as we can see right here, that does not mean every single car is going to be from the G case. When I opened up this case, I got some cars from the F case and even E case. So the assortments are not going to be extremely precise. You will get other cars that do not belong in that case. These two letters right back here, tell you more specifically what cars will be in this case. Just for another example, I will remove this case and bring in another case that I bought right here. And as you can see, this is also an international case because it has a C and this is the F lineup. So the other one was a G. This is an F lineup. All right guys, so now that we know what the lettering and numbering means on the boxes, let's move on to the Hot Wheels cards. Get into some detail about what these letters and numbers on the back of the card mean. So there are three different kinds of cards that we can get. We can get American only cards, international cards, and short cards. The difference between the short card and the other two is quite self-explanatory. It's about half the size. And the difference between the American cards and the international cards are quite easy to tell the differences. The main being the American card only has English wording on the back, while the international card has a variety of languages. Another way of telling the difference is by pulling both of the cards up close, we can see that the American card has a guaranteed for life badge, while the international card has none. And the ultimate Hot Wheels nerd way of deciphering between the two is by checking out the back right here and we will zoom in on this little code just above the scan bar we can see that it says l2593 which means that it was a part of the american only cases and right over here on the international packages we will find the c4982 standing for the international packages and now that we know what those things mean let's take a look at the top of the card right here so the lettering on the top of the card as we can see up here this is useful to us when it is an american card only so when it is an american card the last letter on this number letter lineup determines what case it belongs to so because this letter lineup ends with q that means that this car was a part of the hot wheels q case of whatever year this was released now remember that is only helpful 
for American cards because the international cards do not have a letter but a number at the end of them and there is no way of determining which case they came from from looking at the back of the card. Now that we know about the cases and the cards that the cards come on, let's talk about the individual cards that we pull out of the packages. So everybody knows on the bottom side of a Hot Wheel you can find the name of the car so as you can see right here to get a little bit better lighting this is lamborghini gallardo lp560-4 the dash 4 by the way means that it's four wheel drive if it's a dash 2 it means it's two wheel drive little lamborghini fact for you but other than the name we can see that it says made in malaysia and then we also see right here j44 now back in 2008 hot wheels started labeling the bottom of their cars each year representing a letter so as we can see on this truck right here we have got uh, a 31 now a stands for 2008 so we can tell that this car was made in 2008 and as for these numbers right next to it the 31 that means that it was made in the 31st week of 2008 so let's go back to this Lamborghini right here we have J 44 so that means that this was made in two, the 44th week of 2016 so now that you guys know that I challenge you to go through your Hot Wheels and find a car that has an A one on it that means it was made in 2008 when hot wheels first did this the first week of 2008 i've been searching through my cars and i have yet been able to find one but let me know if you guys are able to do so all right guys so we learned a lot of information in today's episode so let's do a quick recap of what knowledge we have gained so let's start off back with this case we remember that this code right here stands for where it is being distributed c4982 is international and world wide long cards l2593 would be american only long cards and then anything starting with 5785 would be short cards the last letter on this four digit code right here tells you what case it is again this case being the g case and these last two letters go more into detail of what cars are inside this case on to the cards we have american cards international cards and short cards the american cards are guaranteed for life they have only english on the back and they tell you what case they came from from that last letter international cards do not have a guaranteed for life badge they have multiple languages on the back and there's no way of telling which case they came from and the individual Hot Wheels can tell us what year they were made from by the lettering underneath and what week of that year they were created. All right, guys. So if you had any questions about this topic that I just went over, make sure to leave your questions down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer your questions. If you found this video helpful, I mean, you could go leave a like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's free, you know? And also, if you're new, consider subscribing. It would help me out greatly, and I'd much appreciate it. But other than that, I've got nothing else to say, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.